time. Did I make it? I made it. I made it just in time before YouTube drops the bomb. YouTube Rewind 2019 aka Year Review. <coughs> the moment we've all been waiting for so he can hit that dislike button as usual it's become a tradition now that every year when youtube releases a new youtube rewind we all know that we're not gonna like it because we don't have our favorite youtubers in there so we just hit dislike and make youtube feel like shit but then they still do the same thing again next year so we still hit dislike and then they still feel like shit and then they still do the same shit next year and it's a never-ending cycle Anyways, I wanted to express an unpopular opinion. I feel like everyone hates YouTube when it comes to YouTube Rewind, and I totally get that. I'm the one who joined the Dislike Gang last year. Shout out to my Dislike Gang. We managed to hit that number one most disliked video on YouTube. I'm proud of everyone. But I've never seen anyone talk about this. I'm not sure if this is going to be the title, but have you guys ever thought that the reason why YouTube Rewind is getting worse every year, it's not because of YouTube, but it's because of the YouTubers. So we all know the only way to get on YouTube Rewind is for YouTube to invite you and then it's up to you if you want to go or not. The last couple of years, I've watched some YouTubers explain why they're not a part of Rewind, including PewDiePie, Shane Dawson, I think KSI was not on it last year. The big YouTubers that people want in YouTube Rewind, let me just express this and I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this. Maybe it's because they just don't want to be in the YouTube Rewind. Just saying, because I think a couple years ago, Shane Dawson said himself that he just doesn't want to go. I have issues with my body, so when the camera is not right here, I feel fat. But when somebody's filming me from like my whole body, I get anxiety. And then PewDiePie said the same thing last year. He didn't want to go. I think that's what he said. But the year before that, he wasn't invited because of the controversial stuff that happened. And I totally understand that. And Logan Paul wasn't on it last year because of the dead body that he recorded. Yeah. And Jake Paul wasn't on it as well because they're very controversial. And I feel like they might be in it this year but i doubt youtube invited them after logan paul just recorded a dead body like over a year ago but anyways i'm just here to tell you if you're not gonna see shane or if you're not gonna see pewdiepie or ksi or whoever your favorite youtuber is it's probably because they don't want to be in it we all know that most of the youtubers are very narcissistic because YouTubers think they can do anything. If I had to choose one job where the people who do the job have the biggest ego in the world, it would without a doubt be YouTubers. And I'm pretty sure YouTube probably invited PewDiePie this year and Shane or whatever. Honestly, I can't think of any other YouTuber because I don't watch too many YouTubers. But if your favorite YouTuber, as I said before, isn't in it, it's probably because he's very narcissistic. Most of the YouTubers probably think they're very good for everyone and I get it because I've been there having a lot of fans and they're always saying you're the best, you're this and you're that and it gets over your head. I totally understand that. That's why I think a lot of popular YouTubers won't be on this one because as we all know, we've seen everyone on the YouTube Rewind. We've honestly seen everyone and every year we always lose a big YouTuber 
And we get those really trashy YouTubers in it. And what happened last year, which was the bomb? I have really low expectations that we're gonna see big YouTubers on this one. So if you had any hopes about seeing PewDiePie in it, uh, chances are that he's not gonna be in it. I still don't know if YouTube has invited PewDiePie this year. PewDiePie hasn't said anything, but we've also seen that this year, PewDiePie has actually been on some trending videos so, does that mean YouTube now supports PewDiePie? Hmm... I honestly don't fucking know when it comes to PewDiePie, it's all up to YouTube. But at the same time, it's all up to PewDiePie, maybe he doesn't want to be in it? Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about YouTubers accepting that invite because they're very narcissistic. Now, let's talk about PREDICTIONS! Which, 90% of this list is gonna be true. Like legit 90% of this list is gonna be on YouTube Rewind. Mark my words. If I'm wrong, just unsubscribe and dislike this video. As long as you don't make it the number one most dislike. Actually, make this video that- no, don't make- no. Yeah. Never mind. I was gonna say that if this becomes number one most disliked video on YouTube, I could get a lot of cloud, but at the same time I could get a lot of hate. Number one. As usual, she's been on every fucking YouTube Rewind that you could think of. Lily Sane. I also made a video about her. I think it's coming up in a few days. But she's definitely gonna be in it. She's always on every fucking YouTube, always looking for some clout. The only reason why I don't see her being in it is if she's busy with her amazing new show. It is almost Thanksgiving. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely American. <laughs> but most likely, yes, she's gonna be in it. Number two, 100%, don't even question it. Liza Koshi, she's like the twin sister of Lily Singh. To be honest, for the longest time, I thought Liza Koshi was Lily Singh, or Lily Singh was Liza Koshi. One of them. She's very popular for some reason, I personally don't watch her, but she's gonna be on that YouTube Rewind as usual because everyone loves her and number three is definitely Gabby Hanna she's always looking for some cloud she's been in the past YouTube rewinds she was also the meme last year oh, and I'm so proud of this community so I'm pretty sure she's gonna be in it even though she's on some big fucking drama right now number four David Dobrik fucking 100% in it people like Eliza Koshi, Gabby Hanna, David Dobrik and Lily Singh are like 100% in that shit and obviously we're gonna have a lot of talk show hosts, which one of them now includes Lily Singh. So that's like another 50% for Lily Singh to be in. I just realized Lily Singh is definitely gonna be in that shit. She's a talk show host now and she's a YouTuber. So that increases her chance of being in that. But obviously we're gonna see Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, and the other dude, which not everyone knows the name of. Music-wise, it's definitely gonna be Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber. I think that was one of the big songs this year, including the Camilla Cavello, whatever her name is, and that song that she made with... Oh, Mamacita! I love it when you call me Mamacita. Yes, that song, that's definitely gonna be in there. And now, here's some memes slash predictions, which they were very popular this year, but I don't know if you if they're gonna be on YouTube Rewind because they were kind of controversial. Starting with my boy, my sister, James Charles. He was literally everywhere this year on YouTube. He was probably the number one YouTuber who everyone was talking about. So is he gonna be in it? There's a very high chance, but at the same time, I don't know if, if he's gonna be in there because he was in a lot of fucking drama. Hi all. James here. And Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson. I've never seen Jeffree in Rewind, so there's a low chance he's gonna be in there, including Shane. Shane was recording a lot of shit. He was very busy, so, but he was also very popular this year, so I don't know if he's gonna be on YouTube Rewind, but I doubt it, because we've never seen Jeffree and Shane, I think, on YouTube Rewind. And also Mr. Beast. We've never seen Mr. Beast, but he was killing it this year. So I feel like there's a high chance 
he's gonna be in there and if we don't see PewDiePie I know for sure that Mr. Beast is gonna be wearing a PewDiePie shirt or something so if Mr. Beast is in there then we're definitely gonna see PewDiePie's name being mentioned somewhere oh let's not forget about what, what was her name Janelle El Eliana she was that youtuber who gained 1.5 billion subscribers in in two days or something that girl who lives in a van she was very popular as well oh and how could i forget what's her name emma Shem chamberlain emma how can i forget emma she was also very popular so there's a high chance that emma's gonna be in there as well she was extremely popular this year so anyways, these were my predictions and the best thing that I saved for last, the prediction that's going to be 100% true is that I'm not going to be on the rewind. You heard it right. This is like a 100% chance that it's going to happen. I personally am not going to be on rewind because I wasn't invited YouTube. How fucking dare you? 11,000 subscribers? How fucking dare you YouTube? Anyways, this was my prediction for YouTube Rewind 2019. I'm going to be reacting to it and see if my predictions were right. So don't forget, I think next video is actually going to be YouTube Rewind 2019. So yeah, let's wait for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I upload frequently because I have no life.